which bruises my bones, violating from the inside out, seeking retribution against the flesh of its host carrier. I'm feeling murderous. Spasms of agitation, spinning shock waves which ripple under the skin, irritating from the inside out, from the outside in. This is where a part of me always lives. This is where a part of me always lives. The blood letter, the maniac, the schizophrenic, the psychotic. A sociopath suffering from episodic mood swings. I scream at myself to just stop. I scream at myself to just stop. To try to find a way to not make each god damn day feel so fucking murderous. Hyperactive limbo, electric rigor mortis, one foot in front of the other, a thousand and one more Sisyphean feet. The slow leaking of light, night creeps in, and I start to lose it. What I hide from in the sun, develop petulant luminescence as the dark sets in a strange hollow forms in the pit of my gut like something has been ripped away. What the fuck am I to me? Trying to separate the night from this horrendous now. This crushing bruise, this empty, hollow, the slow, peeling soul murder of my own life force as it repels against itself. This is how I feel when my desire is denied, when I do not keep my hunger in check, when it is ignored, when I pretend it does not exist, when I attempt to placate it with false fuels, minor distractions, inaction, stasis, when that part of me that is frozen, and trust me, a lot of me is frozen, is kicked in the teeth by a brute force born of fire and fury and starts to break because a revolution staged by one is not a rebellion. A rebellion staged by one is not a revolution. It is simple madness. Well, to my world. Oh, you're
I kept dreaming about a place in the woods, some place where they'd never find my body. Some place deep in the woods where they'd never find my body. Find my body. But I was holding out for the perfect light, golden amber, a fall night, hunter's moon at a quarter to midnight, dead leaves cackling under heavy boots that smell of wet leather. I said, you saved my life. But I wanted you to commit the perfect murder. A ritual sacrifice that would take us both out. And then you said it again, oh, say it again, because I'm green that way, I'm loving her. But if I hear my fucking name mentioned one more time from a cardboard box, I am going to murder someone. If only all the songs I sung could speak in tongues, mostly they do, and revelations, so that every tortured creature who feels they've died a thousand deaths, trapped inside an endless limbo, drawn and quartered in the darkness, all you dirty puppets of the prophet of the pain god's own creation, where the devil is a woman. The devil is a woman, is a drug, is a need, is the endless need to feed. It's like the bomb in your head, which never stops ticking. So you pick up a knife. Trust me, I was throwing one in the backstage just a few minutes ago, practicing my fucking Widow 13. So you pick up a knife. Before you pick up the gun, I pick up one knee chan. Thank you very much. Or you play with a needle, a boring. Or you consider the noose, that's always a good time late at night. And you smash an empty bottle at the foot of your bed until you locate the pen, which you wield like a sword, so you can continue digging that ditch you spent your whole fucking life digging. What if every song all my songs are about autopsies. 
future forensics, past crimes, future crimes, the need for crime, crimes against nature, crimes too numerous to mention. Lunch, accompanied by Weasel Walter. Very happy to be back in Frankfurt. Sex, if you're into that. I'll wait till you stop. <laughs> Sundays. I was the lion when I said I was a lion. Sundays. Sundays. I just want to be the laziest bitch in the whorehouse. Some days, I just want to be the laziest bitch in the whorehouse. Legs red wide, lucky strike daily from my cock stained scarlet lips. Eyes on the alarm clock, dreaming about that century long sum of my funeral procession which will be littered with hundreds of dead soldiers who had come to soil my battlefield, remembering the way they used to bang into me like bullets, fired out point blank range, the blood mixing with the hot molten lead and the cum. My mind, my mind, my mind, my mind, drunk like you assholes. On the uncountable contaminants I have feasted on for years as a prophylactic against my own sickness. MDMA, ecstasy, acid, LSD 25, cognac, second alls, two and alls, quaaludes, plus dill Xanax if I need it. Some days, some nights. The big one, I will take you down. Some nights, I saw the best minds of my generation scoring dime bags of dope on Avenue D, passing out and puking, their genius inseparable from their disease. And they always said the same things. Some days, some nights, some decades are meant to be wasted. I have not wasted a second of my fucking life.
He's twisting inside himself. He's twisting inside. He takes the night walks with the pain guys through the alleys now. Unseen, he's not. Unseen, he's not. Cursing at the sons and mothers who never knew any better. It's always bitterness. It's always bitterness. Bitterness replaces the pain which poses as pleasure. Pleasure. Treasures buried deep in the mud replace the dull thought which cackles in the night chambers. Oh, night sickness rushes in. Oh, night sickness rushes in. Oh, night sick. Lost in twilight's last gleaming, I fight myself. I fight myself with sticks and stones buried deep somewhere within this spoiled flesh. Oh, night sickness. Pump fucked into oblivion. Bullets squirm around inside. Fate kick the inner god. I'm drowning, baby. So slow. I found some place in the mud. I'm trying to crawl out of. I'm trying to crawl out of. I'm trying to crawl. blisters through the nuclear sky, a slice of dirty brown shredding a crack in the horizon. It transmits life, death, rays to my brain, which accelerates my fading pulse and shoots through my bloodstream like a dirty bulb of static electricity, which bounces off the ceiling, making everything look hollow, life-size ghosted images of what real once was. I'm no longer 
I jolt upright like a reanimated autopsy whose motor functions fail, but after hours of neglect, suddenly register shockwaves. I'm sleeping with his memory. I'm sleeping with his memory. I roll my eyes far enough back in my head, letting just a cracked crescent moon kiss the morning sun somewhere under my veiny bloodshot eyes like a cheap five and dime storefront gypsy fortune teller. I will zero in on him and read his last thought and it will scare the living shit out of me. Like a sick. Shark. Isolated in a prison of pain is loneliness tasted of sand and sewer drains of day old beer and rogan promises of black eyes and blue and bruised ribs of bloody rags wrapped around his temple. He said he was always soaking up the fallout of the body as bad as the body was a battlefield. He said the body was a battle. The body was an experimental canvas. The body was a punching bag. The body was a sack of pus and cum to be trampled under by his big black boots. Those stormtroopers kicking the shit out of the enemy within, which would assure mutually assured destruction, not only against him, not only against me, but aimed directly at that battle fatigued little crybaby boy who would cower in the corner late at night, scared of shadows and holy ghosts, wishing that his mommy would come across the end from the demilitarized zone and save him for just one more day. I wanted to love him. I did love him. Pretended I Wanted to love him the way he pretended. And their distress 
was what I sought to love, to love, to fuck, to fight, to watch the day turn into night, and now the nights are mine alone, and daylight breaks and bruises form the empty space of our my that goes on forever. The present is the point at which time touches eternity. Time is waiting in the wings. He speaks of senseless things. His trick is you and me, boy. It is not an extension of time but an absence of time, an abandonment of the calendar that embraces a strange mathematical point of endlessness, a point with no width, occupying no space. Time is the longest distance between two places, between two people, between you and me. Time is flexing like a hawk, falls like into the floor. This trick it's you and me, boy. I'm just trying to divine an absence of the unnecessary. I'm attempting to unblock the limitations of the failure of resilience. I'm flailing to find new ways to overcome the tedium of the human form with all its multiple imperfections. Of course, my imperfections are just simply a new fucking delicacy. I'm like a blind prophet trying to read Braille off your skin, just imagining what your past, future, and potential is. The moment right before, trust me on this, the moment right before, the moment right before, immediately after something. The moment right before and immediately after something becomes absolutely fucking unbearable. I'm going to say it again. The moment right before and right after something becomes absolutely unbearable. That's the point that I live in. Yes. Yes. Time and credits and Time folds you in its arms and gives you one last kiss. And then it flattens you out and folds you up. And tucks you away until it's time for you to become someone else's past or present or future sick fantasy. Time just becomes a flight into a dimension that lies beyond the reach of a calendar, a place where you can kill time without injuring eternity. And then it falls back in on itself again, like the other unending, ever continuing fucking spiral. One long second, it goes on forever. Memory! Memory, when drained, trust me, of the emotional charge, is wisdom. Turned outward. I know the clock is ticking. Oh, I feel time draining away the hours we have. The past is everything you failed to be. I know what I fucking am. The past is everything you fucking failed to be. Right. Thank you. Thank the future. That's it. This does feel like purgatory. The future holds every fucking potentiality that you can fucking muster. And I ask myself every fucking day, can I make it through another night? Or take me through the night? Sick! Right. Can I take another fucking day? Another night? 
another year, another fucking decade, while all, all you fuckers, that's fine, come on.